Froggy eats up. It was almost dinner time and Froggy was hungry. He sat in the kitchen and dreamed about burgers and flies. Then he hopped up and looked for something to eat. He looked in the cabinet, slam! He looked in the fridge, slam! He looked in the oven, bang! Mom, yelled Froggy, there's nothing to eat. Froggy, called his mother. What? Did you forget? It's our anniversary. We're going out to eat. Hooray, sang Froggy. Let's go. First, you have to get dressed up, dear. We're going to a fancy restaurant. So Froggy flopped to his bedroom. Flop, flop, flop. He slipped off his shirt, unzipped his pants, and took off his shoes, pulled off his socks, and he even changed his underwear with the zap of elastic. Then he tugged on his best pants, zip, and buttoned his best shirt, zoop, 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 and put on his best socks, zoop, pulled on his best shoes, zip, and tied them up, zoop, zoop. Then he put on his best bow tie, snap, and flopped out to show his mom and dad. Flop, flop, flop. Ooh. You look very handsome, dear, said his mother. But you forgot to wash. Oops, said Froggy. So he went to the bathroom and washed. His hands, his face. Splash, splash, splash. He used lots and lots of water, but only a little bit of soap. Then he dried off with a towel. Soap. And he looked at himself in the mirror. He thought he was kind of cute. Froggy, called his father. What? Time to go, said his dad. We'll be late. And off they flopped to the restaurant. Flop, flop, flop. At the restaurant, Froggy's eyes grew big and round. There were glowing candles, flower vases, and tablecloths as white as snow. This is a fancy restaurant, said Froggy. Yes, said his mother. So remember, be neat, be quiet, and don't put your feet on the table. When they were seated, Froggy said, I'm hungry, let's eat. First we have to order, dear, said his mother. I want a hamburger, said Froggy. No hamburgers here, said his father. When the waiter handed him a menu, Froggy opened it, and he knocked over a glass of water. Crash! Oops, cried Froggy. Oh, Froggy, said his mother. Remember what I told you? I know, said Froggy. Be neat. Be quiet, and don't put your feet on the table. But uh, well, it was too hard to be neat and quiet. He fidgeted, he shook the salt on his hand, and he licked it. He banged his spoon on the table, bang, bang, bang. Uh-oh. Then he hit hard on the tip of the spoon and flipped it right into the waiter's head. Bonk! After the waiter finally came and took their orders, the waiter waited, they waited, and they waited. Froggy pulled the petals off the flowers. He blew on the candle, he sucked on sugar cubes and ice cubes. Then he hopped up and flopped around the restaurant, flop, 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 singing, be neat, be quiet. Don't put your feet on the table. Be neat, be quiet, and don't put your feet on the table. Froggy, called his mother. What? Please sit down, now. Froggy sat down. 
Finally, dinner was served. Froggy stuck his fork into a huge plate of spaghetti and sucked up some. It was fun, so he slurped up some more. And that's when he saw Frogalina. She was sitting with her parents. Hi, Froggy, called Frogalina. Who's that pretty girl frog, said his mother. Oh, Froggy was so embarrassed. He ducked beneath the tablecloth and pulled and pulled and pulled till his spaghetti and fly sauce landed smack on his head. Splat! Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Uh, happy anniversary, he croaked. What a mess, cried his father. Oh, Froggy, said his mother. Froggy scooped up spaghetti off his face and said, I know, let's eat out at Fast Fly's place. Good idea, said his mother. Let's go, said his father, and together they leapfrogged all the way there. Flop, 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 where they ate all burgers and flies. Munch, crunch, munch. The end.